let's go ahead and create our first trail. And I'm just going to name my trail here Exam Pro Trail. I do want you to notice that you can apply trail to all regions and you definitely want to do that. Then we have management events where we can decide whether we want to have read only or write only events. We're going to want all of them. Uh, then you have data events. Now these can get expensive because um, S3 and Lambda, the events that they're tracking are uh, high frequency events. So you can imagine how often someone might access something from an S3 bucket, such as a get or a put. So they uh, definitely do not include these and you have to uh, uh, check them on here to uh, have the inclusion of them. So if you do want to uh, track uh, data events, we would just say for all our S3 buckets or specify them. And lambdas are also high frequency because we would track the invocations of lambdas and you could be in the thousands upon millions there. So these are uh, 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 sanely not included by default. Um, now, down below, we need to choose our storage location. We're going to let it create a new S3 bucket for us. That seems like a good choice. We're going to drop down advanced here because uh, it hides some really good tidbits here. So we can turn on uh, uh, encryption, which is definitely something we want to do with KMS. And so I apparently have a key already here. Um, and so I'm just going to add that. I don't know if that's the default key. I don't know if you get a default key with CloudTrail. Usually you'd have one in there, but I'm just going to uh, select that one there. Uh, then we have enable log file validation. So we definitely want to have this to yes. It's going to check whether someone's ever tampered with our logs and whether we should not be able to trust our logs. And then we could send a notification about log file delivery. This is kind of annoying, so I don't want to do that. Um, and then we uh, should be able to create our trail uh, as soon as we um, name our bucket here. So we will go ahead and just name it. We'll say exam pro trails, assuming I don't have one in another account. Okay, and so it doesn't like that one. That's fine. So I'm just going to create a new KMS key here. KMS keys do cost a buck per. So if you want to skip the step, you can totally do so. I'm just going to create one for this uh, here called exam pro trails. Okay. Great. And so now it has created that trail. Uh, and we'll just uh, use the uh, the site here and then maybe we'll uh, take a peek here in that S3 bucket when we do have some data, all right? Um, I do want to point out one more thing is that you couldn't set the uh, the, the CloudWatch event to uh, track across all organizations. I didn't see that option there. It's probably because I'm in a sub account. So if I was in my, uh, if you have an AWS organization, right? Uh, and this was the uh, root account, I bet I could probably turn it on to uh, work across all accounts. Um, so we didn't have that option there, but just be aware that it is there and you can turn um, a trail to be across all organizations. So I just had to switch into my uh, uh, root organization account because I definitely wanted to show you that this option does exist here. So when you create a trail, uh, we have apply to all regions, but we also can apply to all organizations, uh, which means all the accounts within an organization, okay? So, you know, just be aware of that option.